This week, we've been learning more about the four candidates running for city marshal. The four candidates are Grayson Butcher, James Jefferson, Donald Gott, and Anthony Johnson. Yesterday, we heard from interim city marshal James Jefferson, and tonight we're hearing from Shreveport City Councilman Grayson Butcher. I have been a city councilman now in Shreveport for almost five years now. A Shreveport City Councilman is running in the election. The main motivation was I, I love Shreveport. Uh, I think there needs to be some changes in the marshal's office, and I think I've got the experience both legislatively and administratively. Grayson Butcher has served on the Shreveport City Council for nearly five years. Butcher has also been chairman of the Public Safety Committee. Uh, I had approached the former marshal, uh, uh, my good friend Charlie Caldwell, who, who unfortunately died in an accident, and told him this is something that I might be interested in doing. Butcher served as a fire chief for 11 years in Caddo Parish. He says he was inspired to run for city marshal because he wants to continue helping Shreveport. Just something just hit me and uh, said I really need to run for this office. So uh, I contemplated on not running for city council again, but I was unopposed and uh, I want to be able to help Shreveport one way or the other. Butcher says if elected, he plans to take a 25% pay cut in order to implement new programs. I think the biggest thing that I'm going to do as Marshall right off the bat is I'm going to make a 25 I'm going to take a 25% pay cut uh, in order to start some programs that will help with de-escalation. He says those new programs would help lower crime and gun violence in Shreveport. Butcher says his experience sets him apart from the other candidates. I plan to go to the staff meetings. I plan to go to the council meetings, which our current city marshal does, our interim city marshal doesn't do. I've got over 30 years of experience in public safety, continuous experience in public safety and public service in the city of Shreveport. Uh, there's no other candidate that's running that has that. You can cast your vote for city marshal at the election this Saturday. And as always, you can find more election coverage on our KSLA News 12 app. And you'll find complete coverage of tomorrow's election results throughout the evening. Be sure to check those results on the app as well. We'll recap the major races tomorrow night on KSL News 12 at 10.